We're here at the Multnomah County Detention Center where I've been working for the last 11 years. Sometimes I'll go out of my way to spend time with some of the people that come through the door um, because their story's just gonna tug on your heartstring. I mean, we're human, people make mistakes. Of the hundreds and hundreds of people that come through this facility, every once in a while, you're gonna have that one person who puts you in a position to want to help them. Hi. Hi. I got it, guys. We're having a baby. What's the problem? Hold on, slow down there, Tiger. We're having a baby. What's your last name? I don't know. What's your name? I don't know. I've never seen any. I don't know. Come on over here. OK, step right up here for me, please. Thank you. What are they bringing you in here for tonight, I've sir? I've never seen anything. 1234? Um, that and we found them with some mushrooms. Oh, I've not good. Them. Yeah. Did you take some mushrooms tonight? No. No? Oh. So you're not going to hallucinate or nothing like that? Good. His wife was uh, going into labor at a oh, bus stop. Your wife was going her. into labor at a bus stop? He tried to stop us from helping her. Mm -hmm. 326 or one? I don't know. While we were trying to deal with his wife, Elwin got in front of us yep. and kind of tried to stop us from helping her. We placed him in custody. I found some mushrooms in his pocket. His wife was taken away by the ambulance, and we brought him here. Elwin, Elwin, look at me. Look at me. What do you want from me? Did you take anything tonight? No. Nothing at all? No. This is just your normal behavior? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. OK. I respect you. All right. Face the counter. I'm going to take your handcuffs. Stand up. Stand up, Elwin. When I take your handcuffs yeah, off, man. I want you to put your hands on the counter. You understand that? Say, yes, I understand. I mean, I don't when I take your handcuffs off, your hands go right here. This is going to go real well. All right, Ellen, put that hand up on the counter. I'm having a baby. Well, you're not I having a baby. Your wife is having a baby. Please. Stand up. Uh, call the nurse. Have the nurse come up. There you go. I've never seen anything. Uh -uh. Nope. Put them down. Put him down. I've never seen anything. Uh... Elwin, stand up. Stand straight up. Turn around, look at my nurse. Stand up. I don't know what to do. Stand up. I don't. I'm look a... at my nurse. Okay. Look at my nurse. Sir? Hi. Do you know where you're at? No. You I don't. don't know. Can you open your eyes? No. Why not? You just had them I open. Don't... A little bit to drink. I've had yeah. anything to drink. Nothing at all. Are you sure? Kind of smell like it. Kind I don't know like it. Yeah. Have you had something else? Any medicines or drugs? Medicines. Ah, he has them on him. Negative. What Stand up. I don't know. What kind of med? Mm. Okay. I think he's pretty much with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Turn around. Face the counter. I'm put afraid. your hand. No. Put your hands up on the counter. We're having a baby. I've never seen anything five thousand times. I feel like I mean. Boom. I'm gonna go my way, my way. Come on, Elle. Come on over here. Boom. Go in there and relax. No. I don't know. What's wrong with your feet? So, Ellen apparently may have taken some mushrooms tonight. Obviously, his behavior might indicate that he did. He also has the smell of alcohol in his breath. So he's probably a little intoxicated as well. So it sounds to me like his wife is going to be having that baby in the hospital alone tonight. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll have the nurse check on him probably about every 15 minutes or so. Keep a good eye on him. Make sure he's not going to OD or anything until we can determine how much drugs he may or may not have in his system. Do we know what the outcome was with his wife? I don't know. She's up there probably starting to have the baby now. Was she concerned about him at all? No. Not She's at all. She's kind of in pain. OK. Wow. Well, good job for stopping and helping oh, her yeah. out. And Thank thanks, you. Thanks a lot for him. Yep. Good night. All right. I'm going to go check on that guy that may have taken some mushrooms. How you doing, Ellen? Okay. When you came in, you were pretty out of it. Yeah. You're doing much better now. You're very much okay. more coherent than you were. I'm not so worried about you as I was when you first came what in. What do you want me to do? I want, I'm going to get you through the booking process. Go ahead, stand up for me. 
Okay, why don't you come on out? Grab your shoes. Is this your third child? This is my like sixth child. Your sixth child? Third yes. with this person? Second with this person. Second with this person. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Did you know she was going into labor tonight? Were you coherent? I she... wasn't even coherent enough to know. Okay. Not really. Okay. Hey, sit tight right there okay. for just a second. All right. Why don't you head right on over there through that slider? The sooner we get you through this, the sooner you get out of here, okay? Yep. Why don't you just stand right over on the other side of that podium right there? Deputy McElhaney's going to get some more fingerprints from you. Yeah. So, Erwin, did you eat any of those mushrooms that you had on you? No. None? Uh uh. I don't think so. You don't think so? You I don't, don't remember? Know what happened, ma'am. Okay. If you don't remember it, you probably probably did at one point. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead and have a seat right there. Are you working right now? No, I take care of my wife full time mm -hmm. because she has epilepsy. Okay. And so that's what I do. I take care of my family. Okay. I don't. I don't think you're doing a very good job of that tonight, to be honest with you. I don't think so either. Maybe okay. I don't know. So alcohol and mushrooms and a newborn no. child, they don't mix. No. Did you know if it was a boy or it was a girl? A girl they it said. was a girl. That's what they told me. Okay. You got a name? Autumn. What is it? Autumn. Autumn. That's a pretty name. I thought so. Yeah. We'll get you through this process and see if we can get you out of here tonight. Okay. A direct supervision jail. In our booking area, they come in here, they're allowed to sit down, make phone calls, try to bond out, watch television for a little while before they're taken up to a pod. You're treating people as though they're people right off the bat, and we give them a chance to prove that before we have to put them in any sort of a cell. We've got a fighter. I didn't do a damn thing. You'll put her in a cell before we get her in there. What, what's in her hand? Don't right touch me. Come here. Don't oh, touch hold me. Hold the door down. You want to hold her? I hate you. Okay. Hey, get hey, get him off hey, me. Hey, hey, stop. Get stop he's yelling and he'll get, get off you. Stop. He's a man. Stop. He's a man. Get him off me now. Get him off me. He's, he's a like... man. Get him off of me. You know what? I'm not yelling at you. Get him you don't off have of to me. yell at me. He's a man. He cannot touch me. I'm like touching you. Get him off of me now. Don't touch me. Please save me. I haven't done anything wrong. Nothing. I was in a passenger seat. We get all this stuff. Get her neck. Oh, she got a neck. Yeah, she bonked her. She busted her head. Yeah, she just slapped it a little bit. Yeah. Go get the nurse. Nurse! <laughs> the hell, she just threw herself back. Calm down, calm Get off of me! Calm down, calm down, Get calm down. Get off of me! She's got a necklace on her. Whatever. Yeah, I know. She wants to kick me, though. She wanted to kick and fight. I don't want to kick you! I don't want to kick you! Stop it. Watch out, she's a biter. Yeah. Don't bite the nurse. Head. Let me see your head. Did she just do this? Yeah, yeah. just right now. She just conked her head. Yeah. Huh? 24 minutes. No, they put me down. No one was in the cell. No one was inside the cell. Yeah, they put me down. Let me look at it. They put me down. Because I'm going to see all these with the quickness. Get some leg off of me. We're going to leave. Leave my cell. Leave. Leave. Get him off of me right okay. now. I'm going to back out. Get off of me okay, right ready? now. <laughs> she jumps back and puts her head on the wall. What kind of warrants does she have? Anything serious or is it just stupid? No, they're just misdemeanor warrants, three misdemeanor warrants. And she's acting like this for that? Yeah, well, she's Is she intoxicated? Drunk. Okay. She's really drunk. She just she got worse as we came down. Yeah. Uh, let her sit down so the nurse can see her head. Okay. Go ahead and sit down. I'm leaving. My head is hurting so bad. Oh, my God. How can I tell where you're bleeding if you just keep moving around? Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's my fault. Yeah, oh, my God. That looks like that's the only place I can find it right there. Uh, yeah. It's not deep. Oh, it's, it's not deep. Oh, but I'm in pain. I am just as good as you are. My ex-husband is 
Is shit. it still bleeding or is it? I know that I'm a good person. Yeah. It's just been She wanted to try to hit somebody. Get up. Get up. But you know how to walk. I walk with a limp. You don't even know me. You don't know anything about me. We're gonna have to watch her to make sure she doesn't start. She might be a candidate for the happy chair. Yeah, she's rubbing it. She was a passenger in a car at the beginning of the night and the officers asked her to step out of the car. She started to get belligerent with them and when they ran her ID, found out she had some outstanding warrants, just traffic stuff. The deal is, if you take a medicine, I can't just take your I like, word. I either go? have to talk to a doctor or I have to talk to a pharmacist. Okay. All right. Let's see if you know. Just, you just have keys. Start out. What I want to do, first of all, is just do basic things like get your blood pressure and talk to you about your medicine, okay? Apparently, she has a history of seizures, and she told me she takes Tegretol once a day. You're such cold-hearted women. If I was your daughter or your niece or your mother or your aunt, there's no way you would be treating. I haven't done anything wrong, so I have a right to act like okay, this. Ma'am, we I haven't done it. I we... am very upset. Okay, we understand that. You don't know me. Well, okay, but you we understand you're upset. You don't know how good that I am. I am a Christian. Show us that. I am. By yelling you're at not, us. You have you're yelling at pulled us. Pulled me down. Okay. Okay. Pulled me down on the Let me tell you this, okay? We are not the ones that arrested you. We are a different department. We are not the ones that arrested you. And you're the it one that say, matter. oh, now she's had a good nap. So she's better. No, I hadn't had a nap. I was freezing my butt off. Okay. And I was waiting. Okay. I was I'm banging on that window. If you keep window. acting like this, you're going to end up right back in there. So then she can go. If you can think of any way to help me out to get your medicine, please let one of the officers know. Come walk this way. And this one. If she can stay calm, she can sit can out here. Calm. If you stay can calm and quit boots, yelling at us. My jacket? Yes, we're gonna have you grab those. So do I have to go get them? Yes. Yes. You want your pants too? No, I want them in the trash. I never want to see those pants again. And part of the call. They remind me of the one I've gone through tonight. We're gonna let her calm down, sober up some more, maybe another couple hours, and she'll be willing to cooperate with us, get dressed out, maybe call a bondsman and bond out. But this is her first time in jail. She's scared, and hopefully she won't come back after she gets out. Our number one goal here in Booking is to generate voluntary compliance uh, when individuals come in here. Uh, we want to maintain safety and security of the facility at all times. And the best way we do that is uh, maintain control. Anybody that uh, comes into our facility, if they have any type of uh, artwork, uh, tattoos that they've got from the prison system or anything like that, we like to capture and place into our computer system. I could never out my STG to prison. Turn all the way around face wall. All the way around, face the wall. The wall. You have nothing political on you? Nothing at all. You need my search? They can't find nothing. Oh. Don't give them any attitude. Anybody that comes in, no matter what ink it is, it doesn't even have to be political. We have to take pictures of it. No, mine's already on file. No, it's not. It's unchecked. Not on our files. Maybe in the in the prison system, but not here. You what? He's good? Right. Have a seat right here. We're going to have a seat strip put on you. Is this a shirt? Pull the shirt on there. Is it going to go through the regular booking thing? What's that? 
Okay, you done playing games? Yeah, I wasn't trying to. Okay. All right. I've been listening to you out there for about 40 minutes now, and all you're doing is out there. I wasn't trying to disrespect you. North Tower, Fifth Ward Nurse. I'm trying to disrespect him. You know what I mean? My core is not with you two at all. Definitely not with him either. You know what I mean? At all. Who do you have a problem with? No, nobody. Uh, no problems. Uh, yeah, you been in here before? Absolutely, sir. Okay, it's not turning a bad day into your worst day. Right, you know what I'm saying? You got my word. All right, go ahead and follow the directions okay. Officer Moore's going to give you here. Okay. It's in here for malicious destruction of private property, battery, domestic violence, drug paraphernalia times two. Three misdemeanors and just a gross misdemeanor. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. But if you get into trouble in here, it could turn bad. No you know, all, a gross misdemeanor could turn into a felony. Good deal. So we're on the same page now? Yeah, you got my word. Go all right, that. take your word for it. You got my word. Initially, when he came in, he was a little upset, had some issues at first. Uh, we pulled him in, uh, talked to him with the sergeant. Uh, he decided to calm down and uh, go with the program. He's done a lot of time, so he knows uh, what's expected of him here and what's going to happen if he doesn't want to follow the rules. This is the open booking area where he'll be allowed to go to the booking procedure. He'll be fingerprinted, see medical services and pretrial services to see if he qualifies for a OR release. Hopefully he's calmed down enough now where he'll answer the questions and follow the rules and get on with his life and get out of jail. What do we got? Come on over here real quick. Have a seat right here. Yep. You been here before? Like 12 times. 12 times? What for before? Listening, trespassing, and uh, false information. Okay. What are you here for today? I'm going to I don't even know I had. That I know I don't have. When was the last time you were arrested for soliciting? Uh, Probably not. Yesterday I went to court in September, so yeah. I had to, oh, no, I went to court. It was before I had my baby. It was like a week before I had my baby, so I'd have been, I had my baby September 8th, so I'd have been spent first. And I August, September 1st. So you were soliciting while you were pregnant? When did you stop? How, how far along were you when I you stopped? Nine months when I got arrested. You were soliciting when you were nine months old or nine months pregnant? I thought this was the last soliciting charge. I was nine months pregnant. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up over here. I don't know Do you have any hidden money anywhere? Or? I swear to God, it's just like, whatever he's got right there is what I got. Okay. I swear that's all I got. I don't How much do you usually make when you go out? Seven hundred to a thousand a night. Oh, okay. And well, you work every night? Mm -hmm. no, no, I didn't work last night because my daughter didn't have a babysitter and she's sick right now. No, she was sick she was sick last two days, so I didn't work the last two nights. Oh, I know my words about me. The only reason I'm heated right now, I'm telling you. Why are you upset? Because I just went to court November 5th, and he's telling me I've had my warrant since July. I've been to court twice since then. Twice. So I know my warrant's I'm not like that. Never. That's what I'm saying. I, just, I know it's, it's not me. Okay. Well, I need you to uh, go see the nurse. You know, you know you've been here, what, 15 times? You. Okay, yeah, so you kind of know the what the procedure is. Go all the way down, talk to that nurse. What was her deal? I was actually at Caesar's Palace. I had a flyer with her picture on it. it said she was wanted for grand larceny. So it's an arrest warrant. Yeah, they said she she's, she comes in every night. She's sitting up at the bar, throwing back shots. He saw the flyer, said, "Wow, she's probably gonna be up at the bar." Walked up to the bar, and there she was, yeah. oh. throwing back some drinks. But she shouldn't be doing that. She just had a baby two months ago, and. She's cried the whole way to jail, saying. Yeah, she said she was prostituting while she was nine months pregnant. It's pretty sad. Yeah. People make their decisions. Now she's got to sit in here.